Father, they don't seem to understand the gravity of the situation. Even though Space Godzilla was defeated, that doesn't mean Godzilla or a new threat will attack Japan. When will we learn to stop using nuclear weapons? Godzilla expert. Let's see if you are worth the trouble. down to inform you the king is wanting your report about the Earth's takeover. He is in the throne room expecting you. Your mission was a success. I... I'm sorry, my lord, but we failed. A monster on Earth they called Godzilla killed Space Godzilla. How's that possible? and could prove useful to us. Speak quickly before I change my mind. The humans have recovered the corpse of the older Godzilla and are studying him. We could steal the body and use this human with the leftover DNA of Space Godzilla to create the ultimate life form. Very well. We will go to the human space to capture the corpse. But first, we must find the human you speak of. Go down to the Earth, find him, and bring him to me. Very well, my lord. It will be done! And Vortizia. This is your last chance. Don't fail me.
What? Where am I? What's going on? How did I get... What do you know about this creature you humans call Godzilla? I... I don't know what you're talking about. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Martin Jr. What? How do you know my name? Who are you? It is not of your concern to know who I am. But we know much about you. Now, back to the matter at hand. You will tell me about this monster and how to kill it. I don't know what you're talking about or what you plan to do, but I will be of no help to you. Ah, I see. Trying to play dumb with us. Well, that just won't do. Maybe a bit of motivation will help. Oh, Vortigia! Can you help me, my dear? So you, you're lucky we were able to find you in the wreckage. How did you manage to survive the explosion? Yeah, Yuki. We thought you were dead for sure. When Space Godzilla was attacking HMKG, we thought for sure we were done for. HMKG went down and at the last second, I managed to get my team into an escape pod before the explosion. Sorry. They were great men, and it's terrible they didn't survive. So what exactly are we doing with this Godzilla? We are taking him to a new base for research, to learn more about this creature. We actually killed it? Well, we didn't. Godzilla's son did. <laughs> Wait, that little tight took out Space Godzilla? Well, believe it, because that's what happened, and that's why we need to study Godzilla. As much of a surprise to us, Apparently, when Godzilla died, his energy transferred to his son, which gave him more power to defeat Space Godzilla. Hmm. Energy? That doesn't make any sense. It sounds like we're in some badly written monster movie. So what happened to Junior? He went back into the ocean, and unfortunately, our scanners lost track of him. We don't know where he is or if he'll be coming back. That's what worries me. What if he returns and causes destruction just like his father? I mean, he is more powerful now. Yes, Amy. We're going to try to keep an eye on him as best we can. Speaking of things to keep an eye on, what happened to Steve Martin Jr.? That's a good question. When he left us after he told me about the nuclear use on HMKG, we assumed he went back home. Mm. Anything else that I missed? No, that's pretty much all we have at the moment. Yuki, you need to get some medical attention and rest. Amy and I are going to get situated in the new base. We'll see you in the morning. Alright, sir. You have a good night. Take care, Yuki.
Vorticia, we have followed the convoy and reached the base where they are keeping Godzilla. Good, very good. You will attack on my command. Understood. is fine. No need to worry here. Have we been breached? What is all that noise, soldier? Uh, nothing. No, nothing to worry about. Just a simple weapons malfunction. armory to defend this base. Did... did you guys see what I saw? No, what's the matter? Amy, I don't think this is the time to be playing I Spy. No. No, you don't understand. I think I saw Steve. What? Amy, that can't be true. Why would he be attacking us? He went back home before the attack of Space Godzilla. Well, I can believe that. I always knew something was off about that Godzilla nerd. I'm serious. I swore I saw Steve. Okay, even if you did see him, we need to focus on what's happening now. <laughs>
I have brought back the G-cells you wanted. Good. Good. You have done well. Now we can commence phase two of our attack. Portisha, it is time to unleash Borga onto the planet. Yes, my lord! Release Orga! Space Godzilla cells mixed with the older Godzilla. He will be unstoppable. Steve, why would he do something like this? Who was he working with? The troops he was with looked nothing like a human. What the hell is going on? Cousins, I'm so sorry about Amy. I know she meant a lot to you, but we need to... Amy did not deserve to die like that. Yes, sir, I understand. But we need to focus on the matter at hand. Get things figured out. Obviously, this new force needs to be dealt with. Yuki, look around you. We've been beaten. What makes you think we can gather a force to combat this army? Well, sir, we do have one more option. You won't believe what I am witnessing right now! It seems... It, it seems a monster is attacking the city! I haven't seen anything like this since the Osaka incident. I'm not sure how long I can broadcast this, but please get to the shelters as soon as you can before... Oh, oh, oh my! Oh my gosh! It's coming closer! Get back! Get back! So, Yuki, what was that last hope of yours? Project UX0293, sir. Yuki, you can't be serious! Oh, yes. I'm very serious. Stand no chance. 
Sir, it appears that some of the humans are attempting to escape. Humans that I have some unfinished business with. What should we do? It is of no concern. Why bother with the fish drivers? Well, sir, I think I know these men. They might have a plan to stop us, and I believe we should not allow them to get the chance. Well, Steve, if you're so persistent on these humans, take a squad with you and finish the job you started.
Steve! What are you doing here? Stopping you, of course. You see, I can't let you reactivate UX-0293. What? How did you know? Well, my old friend, during the Space Godzilla invasion, I did some of my own research on you and your squad. Oh, I'm sorry, I meant your former squad. Don't you talk to me about my men like that. They died protecting us. Oh, yes. It did a lot of good for sure, with all those innocent people dying as we speak by Orga's hand. Orga? Is that the new monster's name? Look at this smart guy. This is why Amy admired you so much. It's a shame she had to go so young. That's it, Steve! I've had it! Whatever's come over you, I don't care! You're going to pay for saying that! Feels like I got hit in the back of the head with a block of vinyl. You have some explaining to do, Steve. Why are you attacking us and working with what I can only assume are aliens? What are the aliens? Attacking you guys? Give me a second to get my thoughts together. Yeah, well, you see, you hear your monster out there? Looks like Godzilla's fighting off that new creature you call Orga. Godzilla Jr. survived? All right, Steve, enough babbling. What's going on? The last thing I can remember is being at the Osaka Incident Memorial, and then a loud buzzing sound and everything went black. From the looks of it, it seemed you were under some kind of control. There was a device planted on the back of your neck. Oh my god! I'm starting to remember! Those aliens you spoke of are behind the Space Godzilla attack. That was their first plan. So you're telling me that we are being invaded by legit aliens? Well, this is the... <laughs> well, this day is just getting better and better by the minute. Yes, that was their first plan, but they didn't expect Godzilla. So now they use me and my knowledge of Godzilla to create what they call the ultimate life form. So that's why you attacked our base? Yes, I believe that's why I was sent down to grab G-cells off of Junior's father. That way they will combine both Space Godzilla and Godzilla cells together, thus making the unstoppable monster. Whoa! Well, what's with this Orga creature then? That's not the ultimate life form? No, Yuki, it's not. This creature was sent down as a distraction to soften the Earth's defenses for the hybrid to come down and finish the job. Oh, I have a question for you. Where is Amy? Isn't she always with you? Well, she would be if she wasn't dead. You shot her when taking the g Oh my god, I did what? Oh, no, no, please tell me I didn't kill her. We don't have time to grieve. I'll have to explain it to you later. Right now we have to figure out how to help Godzilla beat this Orga monster and prepare for the hybrid creature. Yugi says an old scrap project is still functional here. Oh, you guys are serious about that? Well, let me help you pilot it. It takes at least three to make it work properly. Okay, Steve. Yuki, are you ready? Oh, I've been waiting for you to say that for a while now.
that, you overgrown mushroom. Ugh, Steve, please keep the one liners to me. Right, sorry. All right, ladies, let's keep focus on what's at hand. As much as I hate to say it, we need to help Godzilla. Without him, we can't win. Yes, sir. That's... that's... the hybrid creature! 
So this is the creature the Vortac can fuse with Godzilla and Space Godzilla cells? Hold on anymore! It's trying to obliterate us! You two go first! I'll set the escape pods! It's time I finally do something good for not only myself, but for my friends. For cousins, for Yuki, for Amy, and for my father! Sayonara, mother! Using the self-destruct sequence would kill this hybrid monster. Ugh, he died in vain. No, Yuki. He sacrificed himself to save us and for what he thought was right. Hmm. Look, sir. Godzilla isn't dead. Hmm? Hmm. Didn't you say SMG runs off nuclear energy? Yes. Yes, it does. <laughs>
Earth. I finally have the means to rule you, and those pathetic Ultraman can't do anything to stop me. <laughs>